Um, from this pocket of financials, anything that interests you now, Ambrish? Uh, I think the uh, only stock, uh, again, which has not really moved uh, with the rest of the financials is uh, uh, L&T Finance Holdings, mm -hmm. which I think at the current level, again, uh, I mean, right now, whatever you're buying, I think you should see as to what your downside is, since I'm not too bullish on the markets at this point of time. So I think this is one stock where I think the downside is limited, whereas uh, on the upside, we have seen levels of about 85, 90. So that's the possibility over the next six months or so. What about SKS? Uh is it now SKS, becoming a stock for all seasons? Uh, not really. I think at these levels, uh, SKS seems more or less fully Priced. priced. Uh, I mean, uh, again, here I would like to remind that uh, about, uh, I think, 24 months back, at levels of about 95 to 115, I was quite bullish on this stock. <laughs> okay. What about your good old friend, DCB? DCB, I, I mean, I, uh, I, I still continue to be bullish, uh, and uh, I would say that any sort of a downside out here to levels of about 110, 112 uh, is surely a buying opportunity. And along with this, possibly, I'll just again remind you on the uh, tyre stocks, uh, see it, where I think I'd given a buy at 95, uh, 100 levels. I think at levels of closer to about 800, 900, uh, um, uh, every time you ask me, I, uh, I told you that, uh, that the upside is limited, possibly it's a great time to exit and just look at the price. Uh. Give us some